an automatic pencil sharpener, a gift from Matt, who's visiting at the moment, and I've stolen v Vince's pencil, and uh, basically speaking, when you stick this in, it completely shreds the pencil and uh, sharpens it up nicely. Excellent. What happens if you stick the rubber in? Hold on. Uh -huh. Yes, it's cleaned the rubber up nicely. So let's uh, open this up and take a look inside. Well, I should say, there's a little button on top, and the reason for the button is that if you try putting anything big in, like your finger, uh, it's a safe device to stop kids putting their finger in by sort of requiring that they can't just shove their finger in. They have to push this button down first, and then they can actually push their finger into it. I have no intention of pushing my finger into that. Let's just make sure this is focused properly. I, I usually regret doing that. Uh, so let's uh, tip all the pencil shavings out, what's left of uh, Vince's pencil here. And let's open this up. So the bottom's off to reveal the battery compartment, which is quite generous. It takes uh, AA batteries, but it also takes a 6-volt power supply in the back. I presume that's 6-volt for extra pep. And quotes about 1 amp, so uh, it's quite a beefy thing. Let's get the batteries out of this and then pop the, the lid off. So I'm guessing, looking at it, there's going to be a motor in here, and from the shape of the, this, there's going to be some cogs down here. Let's open this up and see what's inside and see if all the wires pop out. It's pink. Did you notice that? Yeah. Matt knows that pink is the, uh, the colour of the channel. So two screws from there, and there's a couple of screws here, and this is where all the wiring snaps that I pull it out, I hope not. So the battery compartment is in the bottom here, there's the screws, and what have we got? Oh, it's not revealing a huge amount. It's revealing the safety switch there that is pressed down by, I'm guessing that's a multiple mechanisms that feed back to a common link there. So let's pop this off and see what's under here. But the circuitry is very simple. It is just this little uh, sort of micro-switch type device. I say micro-switch type device. It's a, it's a very basic, cheaper micro-switch that you often find in this type of product. Uh, then there's this plate here. And underneath it is, yeah, it is a standard little six volt motor going on to the gearing and then driving this uh, such that they both go in the same direction. Let's pull this wheel out to reveal that. It's one common wheel that's uh, going on to uh, both those. So, very simple. It's what you'd expect. Just a simple switch. Uh, nothing to protect it if it stalls other than the impedance of the batteries. But it seems to work quite well. It seems to work very well indeed, in fact. We've been shredding. The vintage pencil used to be a lot longer than this. We've been testing it to destruction. So that's more or less what's in there. Uh, a motor, a switch, and uh, an interesting mechanism that's a... Uh... Oh, actually, you know what? Ah, that switch is the safety switch. So when you take this off, uh, it breaks the circuit. I didn't notice that. So there must be some other switches up at the other end then. Is it glued together after that, or is it clipped together? One moment, and just, oh actually I can see the screws in there. Right, okay, tell you what, let's take this a bit further. So we'll take these gooey cog wheels out. And this is where my electrically insulated screwdriver doesn't fit up there. One moment please. Oh dear, one fruitless search later, I do not have a screwdriver narrow enough and long enough to actually go up to the end of that to get the top off. So we're just going to have to guess what's inside, which will be another switch in here with this uh, mechanism here that slides in two directions. One that it can slide freely with a small uh, pencil and another one that you have to press this to actually release it to slide it in the other direction. But either pushing those out of the way will have a wedge that will press another those switches and activate the motor. So um, that's fundamentally it. Uh, because I'm travelling at the moment, I just don't have the full toolkit, which means that uh, I don't have what it takes to open that. Um, just look at the difference in gearing here. The, uh, the, that's interesting. The bigger pencil actually has a larger gear to actually uh, increase the torque from the motor, so it will turn slower than the other one. But um, yes, it's an interesting, it's quite nicely made unit. It seems quite robust.
when you put this the pencil in, it's, uh, it seems quite powerful. It doesn't really stall too much when you put it in, and uh, it does a good job of sharpening the pencil.